Chris Prelitz is grinning this two-bedroom, two-bathroom home he's purchased in Laguna Woods, California for $460,000. With only a $90,000 budget, he hopes to turn this energy-inefficient home into a solar wonder with the goal of flipping it. Okay, what a beast. Today is the start of day two. We're going to go in and demolition everything. We don't know yet how it's really been built. Our plans are to take out the kitchen, the baths, and a lot of the ceiling areas and see what's there. Let's take off this, 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 this. Chris plans to open up the kitchen and living room spaces by removing some walls. Oh, there you go, you got a nice long piece. Yeah, let's take the whole thing off. You go. Yeah, everything. All this whole wall and this whole bottom. Watch the wires. This is a really lousy job. We'll get it one way or another. We always do. It always goes out in the end. It's always yeah. away. Always away. Chris wants to do the construction as green as possible, so he found a dumpster company that will separate and recycle his construction waste. We try and save as much as we can, so all the lumber, we'll pull the nails and reuse it. Even the doorknobs in the kitchen, they might go on eBay. So uh, we really try and be pretty cost effective all the time. During the demo, Chris encounters a few unfortunate surprises that might affect his plans. This has been a roof leak. All the mold and stuff coming down. It's dead, isn't it? Yeah. Well, let's just take all the drywall off, the whole thing. It probably won't come out easily. Actually, this is not a common wall. No, it's not. No, it turns. It turns. Yeah. That's stupid, isn't it? Look at this. Nice concrete rebar job. Oh, no. Nice. <laughs> you got rebar sticking straight up here. Then they've got steel rebar and touching copper pipe. And it's just asking for huge problems because you get corrosion. Weird quirky add-ons over the years. Yeah. But that's, that's the first bad one. Pretty gross. When Chris pulls up the carpeting, he makes another costly discovery. So we probably won't go stained concrete. There's all these cracks in it, lots of glue. So you definitely will go with either a stone or some sort of tile on top of it. This is all the stuff that is in your house under the carpeting. It's pretty bad stuff. This comes out here. Yep. It's uh, just the second day, and we got a bunch of demo done as far as the kitchen and the living room, and all the baths are gone. A couple little snags. We may have to move some duct work for the heating and air conditioning, but we'll just keep going. It's week two, and with demo complete, Chris waits for his interior designer, Sandy Abel, to discuss his green options for the house. Hey, Sandy. Hey, Chris. My name's Sandy Abel. I'm the interior designer on the project with Chris. I think we should do doors that have an arch. I think that the edges should be rounded. Just curve the edges? Yeah. Well, Sandy helped us out a lot. In a very short while, she yes. gave us some great ideas. This is a stone that I really No, Oh, it's nice. This it's a natural stone? It is. She really pushed us to go all natural stone. I think the stone should go okay. all the way through the bathroom area. Okay. Chris then meets with his kitchen designer, Jack, to discuss his eco-friendly options for the cabinets. So these are solid wood yeah. doors? Yeah, that's maple. This is basically zero emissions for urea and, and uh, formaldehyde. Cool. And it's a green product. My biggest concern is that we're going to go over budget on the whole project. Right now, we're looking at close to eleven or 12000 for cabinets, and that's before we install them. Cha-ching, cha-ching. So we just have to really stay uh, focused on keeping it simple, not spending more than we need to. And there's six weeks. Well, let's get it ordered. Yeah, let's do it. It's week four, and Chris has passed his inspections, but he's already gone over his budget by $20,000. Throughout the whole house, we're doing all these bottom parts of the walls with leftover planter little pieces that don't go to the landfill and instead go into our building with our goal of being to put about five or six tons of rock in all the interior walls. And this will help stabilize our temperatures, making it much warmer in winter and cooler in summer because the more thermal mass in the house, the less the temperature swing. And that's a, a key ingredient in green buildings. In addition to traditional installation, Chris decides to take things one step further. This is a radiant barrier, which is mostly aluminum, but it keeps out 97% of the radiant heat. It's class A fire rated, and it's pretty inexpensive. Our whole house here is $300. And this just staples up right over the insulation. It works in summer to keep the heat out, and it works in winter to reflect the heat back in. Really important part of the whole project of greening this house. 
With the house now insulated to Chris's satisfaction, he can concentrate on finishing the interior. But with the solar issue still pending at the homeowners association and costs rising, will Chris's dream of a solar-powered house come true?